Hi guys, welcome back. You're probably wondering why the M2 is actually white. Um, I'll explain that first before we explain what we're doing. Uh, my idea was always at the beginning to turn this M2 into a uh, version of an art car because BMW have a long history of doing that. So this is the first stage of that. It's actually wrapped in matte white, which is quite porous. Um, and it's going to be painted on Sunday. Obviously, we'll be covering that whole process from um, start to finish. So you'll see what... what the process is and how it's done and what it ends up like. Um, we are here today at Bedford Autodrome. Uh, we've hired the track out so we can take the car out on the track, get some good shots and we've not actually experienced it on the track yet. The car is very kind of track orientated so it'd be very interesting to see what it's like. We were planning to have a stock M2 here but unfortunately we weren't able to manage it in time because this was done on quite short notice but we will get the car on the track, give you our impressions, get some cool shots of it, and uh, yeah, we'll see how the day goes. Ryan Little. <laughs> So Matt's just rigged the cameras up and we're going out for our first lap, get the car warm, give you some initial impressions. Um, as I said earlier, I haven't been out in the track in this car yet, so it'll be interesting to give you guys my initial impressions. Uh, the track is damp and it is only 11 degrees, so I'm not sure how well the tyres are going to hold up. Our triple eights are obviously track tyre, but not so great in really, really damp conditions. So, so I've left the car started for a little while, so the oil is up to temperature. So it's just a matter of getting a bit of heat in the tyres. Learning the track a little bit. So, for you guys who haven't seen this car before, don't know much about it, I'll just tell you a little bit while I'm driving the car around. So, it started life off as a standard M2, and the idea was to make it into a our version of the GTS. So to do that, um, I'll just run through the mod. So it obviously has GTS inspired aero. So the Edison car composites uh, GTS style hood. Um, the front splitter is by RKP, which is a replica of the GTS uh, splitter from the M4, but shrunk down in size to suit this car. Uh, the rear wing, again, Edison composites, and it's made in the same style as a GTS, but just in the right proportions for this car. Uh, the roof again by Edison Composites is carbon and is in double orbital style. Uh, performance wise, the car has a full super sprint exhaust, uh, Evolve 200 cell down pipe, and it's running the Evolve back end flash on the ECU along with the JB4 and methanol injection, which we're running uh, 50 50 water and meth. So that's the same as the <laughs> M4 GTS just having a little bit of fun with the tail there it's very easy to kind of get to the limit and then control it it's just I don't like that bit of understand but it's drizzling again now so so as I mentioned earlier the brakes are the um, 
carbon ceramics from the M4. Six pot on the front, two pot on the rear with 400 mil discs. Uh, the suspension is Bilstein B16. Foil overs. Um, currently, it's actually set up for uh, road use. We haven't tweaked with the settings to, for the track, but I mean, it's doing pretty well. Body roll is quite limited. Um, it's handling it quite well, but I don't not really pushing the car that hard. Probably once we find the limits of the car a bit more, we'd be wanting to stiffen the suspension up a little bit. So, initial impressions, I don't know whether it's because of the tyres and the dampness, but the turning doesn't feel that great. It feels like it's understeering slightly, so maybe some work needs to be done on the suspension geometry. The body roll is very controlled. And yeah, once you're in the corner, it does feel very well balanced. Bedford does have quite a strict noise limit, so we're going to have to be careful with the valves open. It might get a bit loud. Brakes do feel really good. Dampness, I think. brakes locking up a little bit because of the dampness. They've got some cones out for the braking points and I can kind of brake a little bit deeper than the, those points are. Which I would expect with the ceramic brakes on, considering it's 400mm discs on the front. Obviously we've got the Venturi intake on it as well and it just makes some fantastic noises. We've had a great time so far. We're going to um, go out for a few more laps now because the track's dry and I've had a bit of practice on it. Um, so far, so good. Um, there's definitely some improvements we can make to the car suspension setup for for track to try and get rid of that understeer. But I mean, in general, it's been a lot of fun getting on the track and uh, finding the limits of the car. 
So yeah, I can definitely recommend it and hoping to do some more stuff on the track later on. Um, probably not this year now because the weather's just going to get worse. So uh, maybe from March time onwards. I think the car will probably be in a different guise actually by then. Maybe lose the roll cage and go for more of a CSL style. But let's see we go. the benefit of um, going around these corners quite a few times now because we've been just doing some filming so hopefully I can string some together and what I have noticed with the extra power from the methanol injection is that now the car will lose traction a lot easier. Before you could almost plant it in any situation and the car would grip as long as the tyres were worn. It's a great track, especially if you're a novice to track work because there's a lot of runoff areas so it will give you a real good opportunity to explore the limits of your car. And the surface is very good also. just done uh, basically a whole tank of fuel out here <laughs> we've got about 29 miles left so yeah it's been a great day so far um, I think we're just gonna maybe get a few more shots and um, 
yeah, we'll see how we get on from there. Okay, that's a wrap. We've just run out of fuel, so we can't do any more filming. Uh, thanks to the guys at Bedford Autodrome, Steve and Sonia, for letting us have the track uh, to ourselves. I've really enjoyed taking the car out, learning its limits uh, with the traction off. I would say to all of you guys um, that if you get a chance, come out to a track day, learn the limits of your car in a safe environment. Bedford is a great track to do that because it has a lot of runoff area. Surface is actually very smooth too. Um, what we've learned about the car, it's really well set up for road, but for track use, it's definitely got some understeer that needs to be dialed out. Hopefully next year, maybe March, when the weather's a bit better, we'll come out again, um, adjust the camber and some of the suspension settings and see if we can make it behave um, a little bit more well balanced on the track. But I hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching guys. Um, if you want to see more of this project, you can watch that over here. If you want to watch what YouTube suggests you might like from our other videos, you can watch that over here. As always, if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you've got any questions for us, please drop them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them for you.